Hello, if you've been in the market for uh, a close-up lens for your Magro Forteur uh, camera, you know that it's actually not easy to understand which one you need to pick up for your setup. And this is because every manufacturer seems to have a different way to specify their lenses. In front of me I have here four lenses, which are probably the best on the market right now for your Magro Forteur camera. And the four lenses are the Inon UCL67, the Inon UCL90, the Nauticam CMC1, and the Nauticam CMC2. Why is it difficult to choose a lens? Because the manufacturer specifies different parameters. For example, Inon refers to the focal length of the lens, and that for the 67 stands for 67mm, or Nati stands for 90mm, where Nauticam simply indicates a level of magnification. For 4.5 for the CMC1 and 2.8 for the CMC2. Now, it's difficult to compare which lens is stronger than another and in order to do that we will need to run some tests. Obviously, it would be much easier if every lens would have a common way to specify their performance and this common way, in my opinion, is actually the focal length as per Inon uh, does. The focal length has got a direct relationship with the diopters uh, while well, the magnification will really depend from the system that you use, and this system is composed by your camera and lens. In order to run this test, I will use these four lenses um, in, a, in a lab situation with a Panasonic GH5 and a zoom lens, a Panasonic 14 to 42 millimeters, to make sure that I can see really the different magnifications that this lens can offer. Surprisingly, maybe for someone, uh, the strongest lens. Uh, of this uh, of this lot is actually the an Inon product, the Inon UCL67. This lens has a got focal length of 67 mm or equivalent of 15 diopters, and was the one uh, who had actually the, the high, largest magnification with the with the camera lens that we that we tested. Interesting, this lens, uh, which has got really really uh, a lot of material, a lot of glass and metal in the construction. Um, also allows you to shoot at the longest working distance. And this is due to the fact, if you look at the back of the lens, you see that the lens is not straight, it's not flat, if you like. And this probably allows the nodal point of the lens to go forward and therefore gives you more working distance, as opposed to a traditional lens like the Nottingham, it's got flat elements, where most likely uh, the, the nodal point is actually at the back of the lens. So when you look at the back of the lens, although this lens is longer, the nodal point will be probably more forward and therefore you gain that centimeter of space. That's probably the easiest way to understand how that is happening. And this is happening on both, on the, on the, on the UCL67 and the UCL90. Uh, uh, so this is a really a great lens if you're looking to shoot really, really tiny, tiny critters. Um, and um, uh, is the most appropriate one to use if you have a long um, let's say focal lens. If you have, a, let's say, a shorter lens or, or, or maybe a combat, maybe this is uh, a bit too much, but really is the, the, the top performance, top performer. Um, one thing I've noticed, though, um, is that although the lens is beautifully constructed and really ref um, resists well to reflections, there seems to be some residual yellow fringing that you need to eliminate in post at the borders of the frame. The second coming in terms of power is the Nauticam CMC1. Um, we discovered during this test that most likely this lens has got focal, has a focal length around 75 millimeters. Um, and uh, with the camera and lens that we tested, a working distance of 4 cm from the, from the target, uh, which is very, very close. Um, again, uh, this lens uh, is, looks a bit more traditional in shape and not particularly, um, let's say, smooth or exciting. It really seems like a couple of pieces of aluminium stuck together and most of the focus of the design must have gone into the lens itself. So in terms of, of, of classic, uh, let's say power, this is around 14, 13.9, 14, 9, 14 uh, diopters. Um, then comes the Inon UCL90, 90mm uh, for a length of 11 uh, diopters. Uh, very similar to the UCL67, same construction with this concave uh, glass element on the back, which allows you 
to have additional working distance with, with uh, the GH5 and the Panasonic 1442. This was 8 cm from the port, which is pretty good uh, considering the, the level of magnification obtained. And last but not least, the Nodigam CM SIM2 is the weakest of these lens. Again, classic construction, but very, very clean frame. Uh, no fringing that I could observe in the, in, the, in the test shots and lighter of all the others and also less expensive. The ion lenses are generally more expensive than the, than the nautical ones, um, but they do give you uh, larger magnification. I have to say though that uh, in the range of the 1011 diopter there have been many products in the market for, for a long time, so there's nothing particularly new here. Probably when it comes to the ion, the fact that you have this increased working distance is nice. Um, so you can get more space in order to uh, uh, light the subject, for example. Uh, but again, there's plenty of uh, products uh, in the segment on the market. Well, these, these other two are a bit more unique uh, propositions. So um, I hope that this helps also removing the, the confusion uh, and uh, establishing which one is the, is the most powerful lens. Again, all the products are, you know, they are pro and cons, but they're all very, very strong products. And when I say fringing at the edges, I really mean at the edges, so you really have to go and look for it and the pixel peep. Uh, but otherwise, uh, great products from these two great brands. Um, um, I want to thank again WebPixel for uh, giving me these uh, lenses to test. It's very interesting to run a comparison, and hopefully now you know how to, uh, let's say, compare the Nottingham lenses to other lenses in the market. And now this can help you choosing the appropriate close-up lens for your uh, lens and camera. Thank you again and I will see you soon.